fuck. Hello, it's Yazi. Here with my Brute deck profile. Yes, Brute is one of the most underused heroes right now. I fucking really did just chuck a bunch of rocks in there, actually. Yes, Brute, one of the most underused leaders right now, and everyone calls him shit. And I'm here to tell you that he's not, and I love him. Everyone knows his effect. He intimidates when you discard a six cost, but we never really use that. Fuck, I don't know where my cards went. I guess we're gonna have to look for them. So, we're through. We play Romping Club. It's the only weapon we can play. And then we play Hope because, you know, every now and then we need to look for cards when we don't have them. We play Goliath Gauntlet because we can go for a big OTK. And then two of the cards that I currently don't have, which is Tunic and scab skin leathers. All right, let's go. So everyone's been playing Brute wrong. Everyone's been thinking, oh, let's play attack cards that discard. But that's where everyone's wrong. I have been playing completely different. So to start off with, we still do play Alpha in Alpha Rampage. It is one of the better enders that we have. It is a basically non-attack, intimidate twice, kill two cards from your opponent's hand. Next off, I play three Smash Yellow Instinct. And the reason why is it's a six attack, so you can discard cards for it, and it's a yellow, so you can swing with weapon. Most of my cards that I'm using, you're using all your cards to swing with your weapon and gain most advantage off that, and then hit them with a really big attack. Next off, two Red Drone of Brutality, and the only reason why you play this is six attack, and it shuffles at the bottom of your deck every single time you use it. And then to finish it off, the cheapest Intimidate card that, caught, that has six attack is Packed Hunt. If you have nothing to play and you kind of want to invest a little bit more, you can just swing with Packed Hunt and maybe chuck whatever on top on, you know, fucking, yeah. So yes, those are all the attacks I play. Fucking sorry for the shot, mate. On to the next. All right. And now, it's somewhere completely different. Yeah. Now, one of the most underrated cards of this set, in my opinion, was Pummel. I haven't seen anyone besides Guardian play it. What I'm trying to say is, I don't see any Brute players play it. They don't try and abuse the weapon at all, which is definitely the strongest thing you need when you're playing Brute, is an extra advantage. So I play three red pummel and three yellow pummel. I do have the blue pummel on the side as well, but that's only because if I need the extra blue if I'm versing something really ridiculous, but my decks don't really work like that. But if you wanted to play the extra ones, you can, of course. Onwards. One of the most important things of your deck is of course defense reactions. Now you wanna gonna have to be able to play against your opponent and defend. So to start off with, we play three red sink below and three yellow sink below. Defense for four, defense for three, gets rid of cards out of your hand that you don't want. And you know, looking for extra like blue or reds in that that you need. I have found that this these cards are pretty much amazing and you're always going to use them. No matter what set it comes out with, I don't care about arcane damage, I don't care about anything else. These are the main cards you're going to be using for the rest of your life in this game. That's a Yazi tip for you. The next cards is a card that I didn't think that I'd be playing, which was Springboard Somersault. 
It was Kale McCreath who said that this card was amazing. I called him a dickhead online, I think, pretty sure. If I didn't, I'm calling him a dickhead now. But this card is really good. It's a card that defends for two and then can also be used as yellow mana. So, probably should have been walking for that one, but come on, come on. The last cards that I use are the worst cards. Forget the name, Reckless Swing. It's the worst card we use in our deck, but it's the biggest cheese. You get your opponent down to two health, and they go, oh, I'll swing, and you go, yeah, nah, fuck off. So yes, those are the defense reactions you use, and then we'll go into our instance. So, by now, you would have realized that there is one card in this deck that is better than every other card. I have not announced it yet, because my video guy is walking very slow. But, the best card in your deck it's Blood Rush Bellow. It says, scream on top of your lungs and win the game. You draw two cards, gain two attack on every brute attack you have, and um, intimidate your opponent by screaming. Huh, talking about screaming. Yeah. <sighs> Red Primeval, is it Primeval? Red Primeval Bellow is the second best attack buff in your deck. This card was so underrated and the only reason why I started playing this card was because of sealed format. The amount of people that I cheesed out wins just because of this one card by going, I'm going to discard a random card from my hand and if it's a six attack, it, I gain intimidate. If not, it's just fucking an extra five attack and then swing with weapon. That's 10 damage off technically three cards because you have to use a card to pitch for. But yeah, Primeval Bellow is such an underdog card that no one really uses. You can use the yellow one. I don't like it just because it's not five attack. So, but the best card of your deck, and I mean the best card, we play not only red barraging beatdowns, not only yellow barraging beatdowns, but we also play blue barraging beatdowns. This card says win the game, and that's it. You play one of these for one turn. Like if you, if you don't have any other plays, you play one of these and attack. You don't play two if you have to. You save that other one or use it to block, use your brain for that. But this card, it says, if they do not defend with two cards from their hand, you get free damage. And because you're intimidating, you're ripping a card out of their, their hand, if they manage to block the attack and just discard two cards from their hand off that, it's value. It's fucking value. Yeah. So yes, those are those cards. And we'll go to the next cards. So, instance. I think I skipped instance before, but we're back to it now. Now, I thought... <laughs> Sigil Solace. Now, a lot of people have said that this card isn't the greatest. I personally love it. Because we play Brute, whenever you draw cards, you actually want to do something with those cards. Now, you like buffing and everything and all that, but the other way you can go is just by healing. You play three red and you play three yellow. I was planning on playing maybe one or two blue, but at that point you're only using it for like pitch value and I don't really care about that. So. But the next card, which I think maybe have fell on the ground somewhere, is Bonehead Barrier. Now two or three of this doesn't, I think that's all you need to play. Like, you know, playing one of course is dumb, but if two is fine. There's too many times where I go, oh, you know, I could use the extra maybe one mana this turn. So that's why I feel like playing only two is okay. But if not, if you want to play three, I recommend playing three. Just cause you know, there's some times where you don't have a counter on your tunic and then you're like, oh, I have to use it for something else. But yeah, Bonehead Barrier, an amazing card, and especially going forward, kills ninjas like no fucking tomorrow and also really good against Dominate as well. 
Energy Potion. We're brute. We get free action points like no tomorrow. So why not get some free energy? Now, not only do I play Energy Potion, I also play two time snap potion. There's too many times where you go, hey, I need these extra action points. I'm gonna use, you know, if not, I fucking, I lose. So that's why I play two time snap and three energy. Um, I was testing Crazy Brew for a little bit, but that card really does suck. I'm sorry, Phil McKay, I know you thought it was an amazing card, but that card, like, sucks fucking ass. Now, <clears throat> these are cards that I don't currently have because they're on their way. These are meant to be Tommy Fiendles, the best card of this entire deck. Draws two. Yes, we have free action points, but also gains health. You're gonna need that next set. These cards I'm gonna be keep using fucking forever. Free action points. And you know, free health. Last card is Remembrance. And it's always up here. You always need to remember to play this at one. You never play it more than one. It says shuffle back basically all your barraging red brawn hides, all your alpha in what are they called? Alpha rampages. Just because that's what it is. Now, I'll go on to the side, and then that's it. You can basically play the, any card, but these are the cards that I've liked so far. Blue Pummels, they come in handy every now and then, you know, you go up someone who you want to use extra attack reactions for. Three red and two yellow Scar for Scar. I like these cards. Fuck you if you think they're shit, they're just free value. Then the last package, which is Slogism and the Regurgitating Slog package. These are kind of on their way out. They're kind of bad, but if you get your opponent down low enough and you're versing something that does have a lot of defense reactions against you. These are okay cards to use, but I never really side them in. So that's it for the video. I'll be back in three weeks with my updated deck profile. This is just the deck that I was using during Welcome to Rough. Buy your singles from f fucking wherever and support your local, your local stores. That's it. Thank yous and I'll see yous in the next video.